The big news that's coming in at the moment is that Milin Diora has switched the Congress party. And Congress in response to this has invoked his father. Jairam Ramesh took to X and posted that I recall my long years of association with Muli Diora with great fondness. He had close friends in all political parties, but he was a stalwart congressman who always stood by the party through the thick and the thin. Let's listen in to what Congress's Jairam Ramesh said after Milin Diora posted his resignation on X. You just heard Jairam Ramesh speaking about Milin Diora's father, Muli Diora. According to Jairam Ramesh, Muli Diora was, ha, had a very long association with the Congress party. He had friends in all political parties, but he was a stalwart congressman who always stood by the party through the thick and the thin. But my colleague Rahul Gautam is now joining me on the story. Rahul, it seems like this in fact is a big jolt for the Congress party. But what the BJP now is saying is that instead of focusing on the Nyay Yatra, it is Rahul Gandhi who should be focusing on doing, doing Nyay with his leaders. Absolutely, it seems that uh, uh, but as far as the Yatra is concerned and because of the fact that uh, Murli uh, Deora you know, has long been associated with Congress party and now Milin Deora leaving the party and that was the day when Congress party is embarking on this uh, as they are claiming a um, historic yatra. Uh, obviously, uh, this comes as a jolt for the Congress Party. We all know that how Congress Party has been investing and in eyeing Maharashtra, uh, you know, uh, with great hope that they're going to give them uh, Lok Sabha seats in the upcoming Lok Sabha polls. And uh, their own, uh, a very senior leader leaving the same day. Uh, in fact, Congress Party is saying that this, has been hap this is happening actually at the behest of the BJP, who uh, decided the very timing of this, uh, uh, you know, exit from the Congress Party as is going to overshadow now the Yatra of uh, Barahul Gandhi. And you, you rightly pointed out, it seems that uh, it's the BJP who is having the last laugh as uh, Mr. Milan Deora is making an exit from the Congress Party. Thank you, Rahul Gautam, my colleague, giving us the details, saying that the timing of this obviously is something that the Congress is finding pretty suspicious at the moment on the day when the Bharat Joro Yatra, Bharat Joro Nyaya Yatra begins. It is one of the biggest leaders from Congress, Milan Diora, who now says that he will no longer be associated with the Congress party. It's a big jolt to the Congress party ahead of the big 2024 Lok Sabha elections. Senior politician Milin Diora has taken to social media platform X and announced that he is resigning from the Congress party, creating a massive ripple in politics and bringing an end to his family's 55-year-old association with the Congress party. He is all set to formally join Eknath Shinde's Sena camp today. Diora had recently expressed his displeasure over the UTB, of, uh, over the Uddhav Thakre faction of Sena, staking a claim at the Mumbai South Lok Sabha constituency. Milin Diora tweeted, Today marks the conclusion of a significant chapter in my political journey. I have tendered my resignation from the primary membership of the Congress party, ending my family's 55-year-old relationship with the party. Senior Congress leader Jairam Ramesh expressed displeasure over Milin Diora's decision. He, in fact, also took to X and tweeted, saying that Muli Diora always stood by the Congress party through the thick and the thin, and he, in fact, was a stalwart congressman. The BJP now took a jibe at the Congress party saying that it must start a Nyay Yatra for its leaders and Rahul Gandhi must do Nyay first with all his netas. Yet another no-confidence motion passed against Rahul Gandhi and his leadership. This time not by Lakshman Singh, this time not by Karthi Chidambaram, but by Milindyora. Obviously because the Congress party has become a talent-free, merit-free zone. If you have any ounce of talent or merit, and you are not a psychophant, then you have to leave the party. I left the party too. Several others left the party. Today, Milind Deora has also left the party. Clearly, one thing is clear, that Rahul Gandhi should forget about Bharat Jodo Nyaya Yatra. He should start Congress Netao Ke Liye Nyaya Yatra. The Congress Netas need Nyaya. 
Rajdeep Sardesai is joining me on the story. Rajdeep, one of the things that everyone is now pointing towards the fact is that the young leaders are not finding any space in the Congress party and Milind Dura is just one of them. We saw how Sachin Pilot also was one of those people who time and again has spoken about the fact that he is not comfortable. And now with this resignation, it seems like we might have more young leaders leaving the Congress party. You know, uh, Aishwarya, I was shown a photograph uh, last night uh, when we broke this story, which had uh, the pictures of Milind Devra, R.P.N. Singh, Jitin Prasad, Jyotiraditya Sindhya and Sachin Pilot. Four of the five have now left the Congress. This was a picture from about a decade ago when all of them were ministers in the Manmohan Singh Kambak. Uh, four of them have now left, Milind Devra being the latest, and Sachin Pilot, if you will recall, had also revolted against the Congress leadership uh, three years ago. So there is a sense of unease, disquiet within the younger generation, which feels that A, they are not getting enough opportunities according to them within the Congress, B, that the Congress really doesn't have uh, the, uh, doesn't provide the uh, space for any upward mobility anymore. Look, the younger leaders are ambitious. Uh, they want to, uh, they believe their time has come because they are in their 50s now and they don't know how long they'll have to wait because the previous generation, whether in states like Madhya Pradesh or Rajasthan, has not been willing to cede space to them. In the case of Milin Deora, I think it's more a case of his belief that he deserved a Rajya Sabha seat over the last five years and on at least three occasions he has been passed over. I think it also reveals the limitations of some of these younger leaders. They also are in no position now to guarantee success even in their home constituencies. Uh, the BJP is a dominant force in Mumbai. Uh, in South Mumbai, the BJP uh, in particular is eyeing that seat. Uh, the Shiv Sena has won the seat last two elections. And therefore, Milind Deora was finding that uh, uh, life was becoming more and more difficult for him in a way within the Congress. So I think each of these younger leaders uh, find their space constricted and there will be questions also over Rahul Gandhi's leadership because all of them are close to Rahul Gandhi. Why is it that Rahul Gandhi, uh, those close to Rahul Gandhi are leaving the party is a question that is now being asked. The older generation obviously has nowhere else to go, but the younger generation believes that uh, if they are getting opportunities from regional parties or the BJP, this is the time to do it because the Congress is at the moment uh, a ship on a very rocky, uh, in, in, amidst very choppy waters, and the future is uncertain. So all of them are doing, making these moves to at least safeguard their futures is the sense one gets. So Rajdeep, at the moment, Team Rahul is not the team that is actually winning matches. Unfortunately, at the moment, it seems like this is a team which has been falling like a pack of cards. Now, 48 seats in Maharashtra, Rajdeep. Do you think that this will actually make a dent in, for the Congress party? Milind Deora is leaving the party and going and uh, joining hands with Eknath Shinde. I think the dent, Aishwarya, is less in electoral terms, more in psychological and perception terms. On the very day that Rahul Gandhi is launching his Bharat uh, Nyaya Yatra or Bharat Jodo Yatra 2.0, when one of his close aides and a joint treasurer of the party leaves, it only reaffirms the impression that the Congress is a sinking ship ahead of the 2024 elections. From the perception point of view, uh, Milind Deora leaving a relatively high-profile Mumbai leader does damage the party. I don't think Milind Deora, uh, you know, uh, he himself will concede. He's not a mass leader, but he's a leader who has uh, good connections with the corporate world in particular, with, with industry. And one of the impressions that has been created in recent times, and this is where the Congress has to introspect, is that they are seen as anti-industry and anti-corporate. That many of the younger leaders who have come to the Congress, like the Kanaya Kumar, have come from the left that the Congress has a leftward lurch now and has abandoned the centrist uh, liberal space is what is being argued. And that is why many of the younger leaders uh, who were originally with Rahul Gandhi are finding themselves sidelined. Milind Deora and his father, you will recall, Mil uh, Murli Deora, were both very close to corporate India. Uh, Murli Deora in particular, very close to the Ambani's. Now, these are the very groups which the Congress has in, in recent times been targeting. Uh, so I think the, the, the anti-industry, anti-corporate image which has been created uh, uh, within the Congress means that many of these younger leaders find themselves very discomforted or 
uh, unable to uh, to really see what their future is in this new Congress being created around Rahul Gandhi. Thank you, Rajdeep. Rajdeep Sir Desai giving us a perspective with regards to what will happen now with Milindiura, leaving the Congress Party and joining hands with Eknath Shinde.